Hello everyone. I hope you guys are having an awesome day so far. Uh, this is Wednesday's video. Okay. Uh, what we what we're starting with is uh, the web quest. Okay. I want you guys to work on the web quest for a little while, uh, and then I want you guys to do a little practice with Lewis dots. Okay. I'm gonna go over how to draw some Lewis dots here in a second. Um, but first, finish the uh, web quest from Monday. Okay. Um, and now I'm going to go over the Lewis dots. So let me pull up this screen. Mr. Johnson, Mr. Riley, Mr. Steinbaugh. Wow, long announcement. Okay, so what Lewis dots look like are they're just not an ele elemental symbol. All right, so let's say here's my paper. Now the Lewis dots are equal to the number of valence electrons. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Those dots are equal to the number of valence electrons. So if I look on a periodic table, let me grab one real quick. Every element in column one has one valence electron. In other words, it's going to have one dot. Every element in column two is going to have two dots. Remember, we skip three through 12, and we're going to go to column 13. They get three dots because they have three valence electrons. Four dots, five dots, six dots, seven dots, and the golden number is eight. Eight is the golden number, okay? And there's one exception to this rule, and I'll go over it right now. The one exception is helium. Helium's column gets eight dots. However, helium itself gets two dots. Helium itself gets two dots. That's the exception. Now, when drawing the dots, there is a certain order you should draw the dots. Okay, so you're going to have a symbol. And then you're going to have four different zones. Now, you don't draw the zones when drawing the dots. I'm just showing you as an example. These are my bus seats. So as when you have your symbol, let's say you're in column one, you're going to sit on one of the seats. If you're in column two, you're going to sit in another seat. Column 13, you're going to sit in another seat because you don't want to double up, right? Column 14, you still don't want to double up. You're going to sit here. However, when you get to column 15, you're going to have to double up somewhere. 16, 17. And 18. Okay. So that's how the dots are going to be drawn. You fill in the seats. Now, does it matter? Okay, so hydrogen. Does it matter where the dot goes? No. I'm going to draw the dot right there because it has one dot. It's in column one. All right. Chlorine. Chlorine's in column 17. Okay, well, I'm going to draw one there, one there. Fill in that bus seat. Fill in this bus seat. Okay. I'm going to have to start doubling up because I need to add three more dots. One, two, three. And that's what chlorine looks like. Okay. Uh, let's do carbon. Carbon's in column 14. So it has four bounce electrons. Everybody gets to ride in their own seat. That's pretty nice. Let's do one more example of oxygen. Oxygen is column 16, so you're going to sit in your own seat, sit in your own seat, sit in your own seat, sit in your own seat. seat. Uh-oh, two people have to double up. All right, that's going to be a double, and that's going to be a double. And then two people get their own seat. Okay, 
Hopefully that kind of makes a little sense. Uh, that is Lewis dots. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to kind of take this concept of dots and we're going to draw diagrams. Okay, we're going to draw two dimensional diagrams and build three dimensional diagrams. Okay, but there's nothing due today. Um, I am just showing you guys this. We did uh, just some more practice of dots. Uh, if you want to practice drawing some of the dots, uh, go practice one through 20 or one through 30. Or, well, remember, skip the transition metals. But, uh, and that's all for today. All right, not too bad. Tomorrow's going to be a big day. Tomorrow's a big day. Um, but I hope you have got a good day, and we will see you guys tomorrow.